Hi everyone, Angela here. Fold a letter size or A4 piece of paper in half and make a crease along the fold. Fold in half again and make another crease. Measure 3 inches or 7.6 centimeters from the corner, mark all around and then cut out. Measure 3.5 inches or 9 centimeters from edge to edge and draw a line. Again, measure across 3.5 inches from the end of that line to the edge again and draw another line. Repeat this until you have five sides or what's called a pentagon and then cut it out. Place two fabric pieces with right sides together and then cut out the pattern. Mark about 1.5 inches along one edge for the opening. Starting at the lower mark, use a quarter inch or 6 mm seam allowance to sew all around. Pivot at the corners and back tack at the start and finish. Next trim all the corners, being careful not to cut the stitching. Turn it right side out and then use a point turner or a knitting needle to poke out all the corners. Straighten out the seams of the opening, and then starting from the middle of it, edge stitch all around, back tacking at the start and finish. Using a vanishing ink pen, find the center of each side and mark it. Next measure 2 inches or 5 centimeters straight up from each point and make a mark. Just slightly to the right of this bottom mark, draw a curve to the top mark and then curve down just to the left of this bottom mark. Repeat drawing these curves for all the points. Use a stronger top stitch or jean thread and thread your needle so that you have about 20 inches or 50 centimeters of a double thread and tie a knot at the end. Start sewing from the mark at the edge, push your needle through from the bottom and leave a tail about 5 or 6 inches long. Sew a quarter inch or 6 millimeter running stitch along the curve. When you get to the other edge, make sure your needle comes out through the top. Put your needle in beside the last stitch and continue sewing the next curve. Repeat all around and gather up the fabric as you go. If you're finding this video helpful, make sure to like, share, subscribe and turn on all notifications and also leave a comment below. When you get to the end, push your needle through to the back side and then also push all the fabric that's in the center of the flower to the back as well. On the back, tie a half knot with the thread and then pull and gather the fabric as much as possible. Tie a couple of more knots so it's nice and secure, and then cut your shorter thread. Now you can leave your flower plain like this, or with the thread that's still attached to the needle, thread it through to the right side, and attach a button to the center. Thanks again for watching, make sure to catch my video up next.